care for some tea? Chapter 1 Donut You slowly walked into the spider parlour. You had been craving some spider pastries lately. Even though everything was overpriced in the extreme, you couldn't ignore your sweet tooth. As you walked in, spiders greeted you fondly, waving their front legs before disappearing into the webs and shadows. <laughs> A familiar giggle sounded through the area. What's this? It seems our little human friend has made a return. You look up to see the mischievous spider woman being lowered on a seat made of web. Her upper and lower right arms held on to one connecting web line, while the middle held a teapot. Her upper left arm held the other connecting web line, while the middle and lower arms held a teacup and saucer. She smiled at you, each of her eyes blinking in turn. Well, hello there, dearie, she greeted. No matter how warm her intentions were, something about the way she spoke always sent shivers down your spine. What brings you here today? Could it be that you want some more of our delicious pastries? You nodded. <laughs> I knew their charms were impossible for you to resist. You may have as many as you like, for the right price, of course. You had been saving up gold for a while now. You hoped you had enough for at least one pastry. Now, what would you like? You were really in the mood for a donut. Whatever glaze Muffet used was heavenly. Just the thought of its sweetness made your mouth water. A donut? Hmm. Coming right up, dearie. That will be 900G, if you please. 900G. That was it? You would expect it a lot more. You gave the spider woman a confused look. Hmm. Something wrong? Muffet asked. A spider lowering itself beside her to listen in. You took a moment to think of how you wished to word the question. You wanted to be as polite as possible, but still wanted an answer. Why have my prices dropped? Had you not heard, dearie? She giggled. Your continued patronage has helped us raise more than enough money to reunite the spider clans. The spiders from the ruins will be moving here in just a few short days. That was wonderful news. You hadn't realised how much you had helped. You smiled, happy to have helped yet another monster. She giggled again. <laughs> so since you helped us reach our objective, you get a special discount. Another spider lowered itself beside you. Offering you a large donut. Here you are, Muffet said. You accepted the donut and gave the little spider a gold in return. It smiled at you, returning to the mass of webs above. You took a bite of the donut. It was delicious as always. We truly cannot thank you enough for all your help, Muffet said, smiling. For once, you actually felt the warmth behind her words, and grin. There was no mischief behind either this time. It was genuine. Your heart beat a little faster for a couple of moments. Did you want something else? Perhaps another playdate with my pet? You quickly excused yourself from the offer, turning to leave the parlour. Oh well, maybe next time. With a giggle, her seat began to rise, taking her back to the spider haven above. You paused just outside the spider lair. You finished the last bite of your donut, licking the sweet glaze from your fingertips. Usually you left Muffet's lair with a chilly feeling of uneasiness, but this time was different. 
you felt happy and warm. You would help the spiders of the underground in their reunion. After a moment of thought, however, you felt a little sick. That means you spent a lot of gold on pastries. You suddenly felt pretty fat for eating all of those sweets. Even if you didn't do so all at once, you shot a self-conscious glance at your stomach, but you didn't appear to have changed size. You sighed. Your mind returned to Muffet. Something about her seemed... different. Different than the first time you met her. Then, she seemed like a creepy sadist who enjoyed making money while watching you suffer. But now, she was a little sweeter towards you. You didn't feel like a mere plaything to her anymore. You could actually feel a connection of sorts forming between the two of you. Perhaps you were finally growing a friendly bond with her. Now that you thought about it, she didn't seem to talk to anyone but her arachnid family. And you. Were you her only non-spider friend? You looked back towards the parlour. There was no evidence to prove otherwise. Now, you were more determined than ever. You and Muffet were going to build a strong friendship, just as you had done with the other monsters of the underground. Your new web-tangled mission filled you with determination. Chapter 2 Reunion You waited a couple of days before visiting Muffet again. You hoped the spiders were all reunited by now. You peeked into the den. The place exploding with activity the moment you stepped inside. The number of spiders had increased quite a bit. Way more than you had expected. Some spiders spotted you, stopping what they were doing. Other spiders began to notice following the eyes of their paused companions. Soon, every single spider was staring at you. You tensed up. It was as if you could feel the weight of the literally thousands of eyes that were now glaring at you. For several moments, nothing moved. All was still. You stood there as the heavy mass of gazes loomed over you. <laughs> A familiar giggle broke the silence. Muffet suddenly landed behind you, eyes gleaming with mischief. You slowly turned around, looking up at the spider woman, only to be immediately grabbed by four arms and hugged close. We can't thank you enough, Muffet said. Her voice was full of genuine joy, something you had never heard from her until now. She released you, gesturing towards the collection of spiders above. The spiders from the ruins were able to make it here safely. Not a single one of them has been harmed. We are a single clan once more. You took a moment to recover from the sudden force of the quick and powerful hug. Holding your head, you managed to regain balance. You looked up at the large collection of gleaming eyes above you, smiling awkwardly. The spiders all began to cheer, each little voice contributing to the chatter. Though their numbers were great, the sound was not all that loud. It was actually kind of cute, listening to all of them cheer happily, with as much force as they could muster. You smiled more genuinely now. They all looked so happy to be together again. You looked back at Muffet, who was still smiling up at her spiders. Eventually, the cheering died down, and Muffet looked down at you. We will think of some way to thank you in time, she promised. 
winking the two eyes on the left side of her face. But for now, please accept this dozen of spider donuts, free of charge. A small group of spiders came crawling up to you, carrying a box on their backs. At a loss for words, all you could do was accept the box. The spiders smiled up at you. You smiled back. They soon disappeared among the webs. You looked back at Muffet, thanking her for the donuts. Of course, dearie. I think you earned them. She giggled, holding her right middle hand to her mouth. This was a side of Muffet you had never seen, and you doubted anyone else had seen it either. She could be really sweet if she wanted to be. Of course, she was also overjoyed at the moment. You remembered that this was the same monster who had tied you up and threatened to feed you to her pet. You shuddered at the memory. But, even so, she did seem pretty grateful for your help. A spider lowered itself to Muffet's face, whispering something in her ear. Her face lit up. The familiar, more mischievous smile returned to her face as she focused on you. You tensed slightly, nervous about the unknown conversation. Hmm, yes, that is a lovely idea, Muffet agreed with a nod. The spider shot a glance at you before retreating to its brethren. You watched it go before returning your nervous gaze to Muffet. They think a spider dance would be a handsome reward, she explained. I have to agree, so may I have this dance? She offered her upper right hand for you to take. You gulped. You had never danced with someone before, especially not someone with three times as many arms as you had. And what exactly did a spider dance entail? You cautiously put your hand in hers, unsure of what to expect. The spiders above seemed to see that as their cue. They began to stir. At first, it just sounded like noise, but it slowly evolved into a tune. A familiar tune. The same tune they had been singing during your battle with Muffet. Only now it was on a large scale, with every spider pitching in. Muffet pulled you forward, grabbing your other hand with her middle left hand. Her head moved perfectly to the beat. This dance was very one-sided. She tossed you this way and that, while still remaining perfectly in sync with the beat of the song her spiders sang. You tried to catch up, eventually being released when the song slowed. Muffet danced alone, much slower now. She looked at you expectantly, willing you to mirror her actions with her gaze alone. You studied her movements for a few moments before attempting to mimic them. You began to get the hang of it, realising how easy the beat was to follow once you tried. You were actually enjoying yourself. That is, until your dance partner grabbed your arm again, yanking you towards herself. These movements were all new, and she threw you about like a doll once more. This routine repeated itself several times. Just when you began to get into the rhythm, the spider song began to fade. Soon, it came to a close, and Muffet stopped dancing. She smiled at you. <laughs> Not bad, dearie, she complimented. I would have never guessed that was your first time doing the spider dance. You blushed a little at the phrase. Was she trying to be nice? Because, as far as you could tell, you sucked at the dance. 
She giggled again. We'll have to do this again sometime. You nodded, agreeing wholeheartedly. That sounded like fun. If you could master the dance and keep yourself on your own two feet the next time. You waved goodbye. Muffet returned the gesture with her upper two left hands. Several spiders waved to you as well. As you left, you felt even warmer than you did the last time you departed from the spider's lair. You were making excellent progress with Muffet. You two would be great friends in no time, at this rate. The bright hope of a new friendship fills you with determination. Chapter 3 Play Date After a week or so, you decided to once more visit Muffet. You hoped your frequent visits were fun for her as well, and not a burden or bother. She always seemed social enough when you entered her parlour, even if it was in her own special way. You stepped inside, surprised at the significantly less activity compared to your last visit. Of course, everyone was probably still settling in then. By now, they were all at home. You called out for Muffet, awaiting a response. You were suddenly enveloped in an all too familiar purple web. You struggled out of shock, but to no avail. Muffet's girlish giggle rang out as she lowered herself on her spiderweb swing. So good to see you again, dearie. It's been a while. You smiled, happy to see Muffet again, despite being tangled in her web. Muffet grinned, her eyes full of mischief. My little pet missed you very much. You tensed, glancing down at the web that entangled you. Your heart sank as you realised what was happening. This wasn't going to end well for you. Muffet brought one hand to her mouth, whistling. There was a split second of dead silence before the ground began to tremble. It was very slight at first, but it soon evolved into a massive shaking. The large cupcake with spider legs came crawling up to its owner. It looked at both you and Muffet eagerly. Little Muffin here has been practically begging to have another playdate with you, dearie. I hope you don't mind. The large pet, apparently dubbed Muffin, stared at you. It didn't seem aggressive like the last time the two of you met. Strangely, it almost looked like a lovable dog. Of sorts. Against your better judgement, you nodded slowly. It was clear Muffet cared very much for her pet, so you were afraid saying no would offend her. Excellent, Muffet chimed happily. The web around you disappeared, allowing you to once again move on your own. Go and give Muffin a little pat. You slowly approached the large cake spider, offering your outstretched hand. The two of you stared at each other for a few moments. Then, Muffin closed its eyes and leaned forward, allowing your hand to touch its face. The texture was surprising. It wasn't sticky or slimy, as you half expected. Instead, it was rather fuzzy, like a normal spider. You gently rubbed Muffin's face. Muffin opened its eyes looking down at you intently. You swore it smiled at you. It opened its mouth, a large tongue, suddenly rubbing against you once. Muffin was nothing more than a big puppy. Its eyes glimmered as it panted and stared at you with admiration. Muffet laughed. You see, Muffin absolutely adores you. You grinned. Then you had an idea. You dug into your pocket for a moment, grabbing one of the spider donuts from before. 
You held it up, shaking it slightly to draw Muffin's attention. Muffin eyed the treat, panting heavily with desire. You moved the donut from one side to the other, Muffin's eyes following the sweet. You tossed the donut towards the big pet. Naturally, Muffin opened its mouth and caught it with ease. The donut was gone in a single gulp. Once it consumed the treat, it extended its tongue once more, giving you another friendly lick. Muffet giggled. How did you know that spider donuts were Muffin's favourite treat? You must love them as much as I do. Truth be told, Muffin had terrified you up until this point, but you weren't about to tell either of them that now. Would you like to see a trick? Muffet asked. You nodded, curious about the meaning behind her words. She waved her hands a few times, getting Muffin's attention. When the pet looked her way, she spoke again. Muffin, dearie, show our friend your spinning skills. Muffin retracted its panting tongue, turning and quickly crawling away. It jumped onto the wall, climbing up with surprising speed. It then began to spin a web, though you weren't quite sure where the web was coming from exactly. You decided not to ask questions. Muffin worked incredibly fast. It dashed this way and that, spinning more and more web. After a few minutes of tireless work, Muffin stopped, jumping down and landing in front of you, and Muffet with a thud. You looked up at the web, pleasantly surprised, though it was a little bit messy. A picture of a donut and three spiders could be made out in the middle of the web. You grinned, clapping your praise. Muffin seemed very excited to receive praise. If it had a tail, it would probably have shaken it off by now with all the excitement. Muffet clapped as well, admiring her pet's work. Very good, Muffin. You're getting better each time. Muffin licked its lips a moment before continuing to pant with joy. It turned its attention back to you, taking several quick steps towards you. It got closer and closer until it loomed over you. And before you could react, Muffin grabbed you with its front leg. It lifted you up, placing you on top of its head. Oh, looks like Muffin wants to take you for a ride, dearie. Muffet explained. What do you say? You weren't quite sure how to respond. You looked down at Muffin. Muffin looked up at you eagerly, awaiting permission to do with you whatever it wished. You looked back at Muffet, who was also awaiting an answer. After some consideration, you decided you had been through much worse. You nodded, granting permission. As soon as it sensed approval, Muffin launched forward, quickly crawling up the webby wall. You hung on for dear life. You immediately regretted your choice. Muffin took you everywhere, all at a surprising speed. It crawled along the walls, across the ceilings, down single web lines. You knew every inch of the place by the time Muffin was done. Eventually, Muffin grew tired. It jumped from the ceiling, landing with a thud once more. It lowered its body, folding its legs close to its sides. Within moments, a gentle snoring could be heard from the creature. You carefully climbed off your wild steed, stumbling back to where Muffet was waiting. It took you a few moments to recover from the ride. Did you enjoy yourself? Muffet asked. She didn't give you time to answer. Looking over at Muffin, that is the happiest I've ever seen Muffin in a long time. She looked back at you, giving another warm, genuine smile. Muffin loves you almost as much as I love them. You smiled, assuming that was meant to be a compliment. 
you stumbled back, now feeling how exhausted you were. You seem worn out as well. You better get home, Muffet said. You can come back for another playdate another time. You nodded. That sounded like a plan. You waved goodbye, turning and leaving the web-lined nest. Despite being completely exhausted, you felt the warmth that was becoming more and more familiar each time you left. Now you had two new friends, Muffet and Muffin. You grinned stupidly at yourself. You really enjoyed getting to know Muffet. The love of a pet fills you with determination. Chapter 4 Enlightenment You found yourself visiting Muffet more and more often. The two of you were growing quite close. You always had something to do together, be it chatting over tea, playing with Muffin, or even baking lessons. She had even trusted you with a couple of her secret recipes. You made your way back to the spider den, eager to spend more time with Muffin. You had put your first meeting with her far behind you. Sure, she was still mischievous and unpredictable at times, but she was really sweet under all of that. Welcome back, dearie, Muffet greeted. She was sitting on her web swing, sipping a cup of tea. Her swing lowered until it was hardly above the ground you stood on. Care for some tea? You nodded. Before meeting Muffet, you hadn't been the biggest fan of drinking tea. However, Muffet's tea was unlike any you had ever had. The flavour was indescribably delicious and even somewhat soothing. You look forward to it every time it was offered. You sat on a small clump of web, accepting the teacup and saucer Muffet offered you. You eagerly sipped the pleasantly warm beverage. So, is everyone getting along nicely? She asked, taking another sip while awaiting your answer eagerly. You nodded. Nothing much was happening. Everyone was the same old, same old, really. Muffet smiled. You seem to have plenty of friends down here. Perhaps it isn't surprising that you decided to stay. You gave her a confused look. Everyone always seemed so eager to return to the surface. Before you showed up, that is. She looked away as if she saw something far in the distance. Her voice seemed a little sad. She snapped out of her daze. Oh, forgive me, dearie. My mind was wandering. That was the most serious tone you had ever heard from Muffet. You asked if she was okay, genuinely concerned. She slowly shook her head. I just never understood the strong desire to return to the surface. She replied simply, We all live peacefully enough down here. We're all safe and happy. You took her comment into consideration. She did have a point. You began to wonder yourself. As far as you were concerned, living down here wasn't much different than living up there. Did the other monsters simply want to live amongst humans again? I, for one, would rather not live among many humans, Muffet spat, her tone changing from sad to angry. She took a rather aggressive sip from her cup, pouring more tea afterward. This was yet another side of Muffet you had never witnessed. You hadn't really noticed such aggression towards humans, even during your first meeting. Suddenly, some of the things she had first said to you began to echo in your head. I heard they hate spiders. I heard they love to stomp on them. I heard they like to tear their legs off. 
you felt your heart sink. You began to worry these weren't just rumours she had heard. There was a long pause between the two of you. She glanced at you. Oh dear, I forgot to offer you a spider cookie, she said, breaking the silence. Her tone had lightened significantly all of a sudden. You shook your head. You were much more concerned about her than your stomach. Even if a spider cookie did sound really good at that moment. You questioned her, even more worried now. She hesitated a good few moments before responding. Spiders don't stay together just because we're a clan. She finally said, her saddened tone returning. We stay together to stay safe. She looked away, setting her teacup on its saucer and setting both aside. Your heart sank more. You would never expected to see Muffet so sad. You wanted to help, but you had no idea how. We keep to ourselves because that is what everyone else wants. Humans. Monsters. Spiders are never the first choice when it comes to socialization. She paused, taking a shaky breath. Was she about to cry? We have a reputation. We did nothing to earn. Your heart hit the ground, shattering for the poor spider girl and her spider family. You had never considered that even other monsters were not fans of spiders. Muffet could quite possibly want friends, but no one gave her a chance until... A tear escaped Muffet's largest right eye, but she quickly wiped it away. We believed that things would always be that way. We would only have each other, no matter where we dwelled. Several spiders had lowered themselves, creating a cloud that looked as if it was about to break into heavy rain. Muffin had even made an appearance occasionally whining as it sensed its owner's sadness and pain. Muffet held out her hand. One of her spiders crawled onto her hand and down her arm onto her shoulder. It nuzzled her face before looking at you. Muffet gave you a sad sort of smile. But when you came along, she continued, despite our first encounter, you came back. And not just once, you continued to return, and you gave us a chance that few others have been willing to give. You looked up at Muffet and her cloud of spiders. They all looked at you gratefully. Not only had you reunited their clan, but you had become one of their only friends of a different species. Your heart returned to your chest fluttering a little. We are very grateful, dearie. You have helped us so much more than you know, she said, getting off of her swing and walking up to you. We can never repay you for all you have done, she smiled. This smile was the warmest smile you had ever witnessed. Her joy and thankfulness were so genuine you felt as though you could feel beams of sunlight warming you from the inside out. Your heart fluttered faster, and you felt your face growing warm. Muffet offered you her hand. You will always be welcome here. Consider yourself an honorary spider. She giggled. All sadness had faded away, replaced with the warm beams of joy radiating from every which way. It seemed as if the entire den was glowing, despite being as dark as normal. You and Muffet spent the rest of the day baking and playing with Muffin. You eventually left, still warm and fuzzy inside. As you walked back home, you were practically soaring. You couldn't remember the last time you felt this full of pure bliss. 
You probably looked like an idiot, walking around in your joyful days, but you didn't care. Nothing could bring you down at this moment. It wasn't until you got home that you came down enough to start thinking. Your mind began to spin, starting with a single thought before erupting into a massive tilter wheel of ideas and questions. You grabbed your head, trying to gather yourself. You thought of Muffet and how you had felt today, how you had been starting to feel for a while now. Were you falling in love with Muffet? You couldn't be sure. Suddenly exhausted, you flopped onto your bed and fell asleep almost instantly. Despite your confusion and crazy emotions, you were filled with determination. If you'd like to continue reading the story, I'll leave links down below so you can check it out and also support the author. Otherwise, let me know if you'd like me to make more videos on this story. As always, a big thank you to my patrons for helping to support the channel. It really does make a difference, so I appreciate all of you, and I'll catch you in the next video.